Archibald Quicksilver to the rescue! Light as the wind! Whoa! Hmm. You can't hold me! I'll slip through your fingers like the sands of time! On the contrary, Dr. Sinistro, my transgrifier will send you back where you came from, or my name isn't... Mona! Ah! You know, this stuff isn't any good to the Historical Society if it's smashed. We got a little carried away. Sorry. I'll make you sandwiches for lunch. Just try not to wake the dead. I have enough mouths to feed. Your mom was only joking about waking up the dead, right? Everyone knows the dead never sleep. In fact, they're probably watching us. Right now! Stop it! Hey. Look what you did! You broke it! Hey, that's my great-great-uncle Morbus. He was one weird cookie. His eyes are so creepy. Not exactly historical society material. We'll call you in another hundred years if we need you, Uncle Morbus. Ugh, thirsty. Better. Yes! Yeah! Uh, Uncle Morbus! Excuse me. Do you have any idea what a hundred years of dust does to the nasal cavities? <laughs> ah! Mom, you were right. I did wake up the dead, but I have a perfectly good explanation. Mom? Dad? Mona. It's incredibly rude to interrupt. I just remembered about, uh, the thing that I forgot. In the other room. You can't butt in if I cover all the windows and mirrors. But you woke me, Mona. And a hundred years is a long time to oversleep. Even on a Saturday. Go back where you came from! Ah, well, you see, that old frame is a little cramped for me. But if you like it so much, we can switch! I'm not supposed to watch TV past my bedtime! Say that! Cable! <laughs> I'm going to like it here! No! Go away! Ah, uh, what a nightmare that was. Bathroom. Dad? Daddy? You wouldn't believe the nightmare I had. Achoo! Uncle Morbus! No! <laughs> That's no way to greet your Uncle Morris, Mona. I have an Uncle Morris? He's the guest speaker at the Historical Society dinner tomorrow. He's quite the expert on the town's history, you know. But he's just like in my dream. There's a picture in the attic, and I. He arrived late last night, and he needs to rest. In the meantime, didn't you promise to take those old things to the society? Here's the register your father requested, Lily. I think you'll find our town's history very interesting indeed. This year's exhibit will be the best one yet, thanks to loans from families like yours, Mona. And we're really looking forward to your uncle's speech. <gasps> A Thornton Pickard camera. And photographic plates, too. Are you okay, Mona? You look pale. It's that nightmare I had. I keep thinking it means something. It means that you have a creepy great-great-uncle, that's all. Anyone would have bad dreams after looking at that picture. But running into Uncle Morris this morning was like being face-to-face -face with that old photo. Well, of course, they're related. There's more to it than that. You should meet Uncle Morris. Then you'll see what I mean. Ah! Why don't you knock? What if he's still sleeping? My mom said not to wake him up. Say, didn't you close the trap door yesterday? Yeah, I did. The frame is missing! Hey, here it is. It must have fallen by accident. It's 
covered with dust. <laughs> the image is gone. Ah. <laughs> Should go down now. Good idea. Look here. The Historical Society's register says that your Uncle Morbus was an eccentric inventor who kept to himself and shunned sunlight. And here's Uncle Morris, only coming out at night. For two people separated by a hundred years, they sure have a lot in common. Oh, look at Uncle Morbus's last invention. Where have I seen that before? I think it's some sort of planetary model. It looks like it was built from scrap metal. It sure is ugly. I guess Uncle Morbus wasn't a very good inventor. Yes! Well, look who braved sunlight for a change. His eyes are just like Uncle Morbus's. You were right. What do you think he's doing here? Studying the town's history, according to Mom. This is the chance I've been waiting for. I'll see you guys later. Hmm, that's strange. He's left the bedside light on in the middle of the day. <gasps> a wig? Why would Uncle Morris wear a wig? Because he's really your great-great-uncle Morbus. Imagine my embarrassment when I realized that I left without it. I can't risk being recognized by those annoying history buffs. Please, hand it over. Catch it if you can! <sighs> no! you have no choice but to go back now. This is only a minor setback. I'm staying for good as soon as I make one final adjustment. I want to thank you and your family for keeping this safe. It took a while to find it in the mess upstairs. It's too late. We know everything about you now. I'll deal with your little friends later. As for you, nature abhors a vacuum. And there's the matter of a blank photo that needs filling up. I'll be sure to put you back where you found me. You'll see. It's not so bad once you get used to the dust. <laughs> Look! It's Uncle Morris! I mean Morbus! We came as soon as you called. Are you okay? You're paler than ever. I'm okay, for now. But we don't have much time. Look. It's true. You really are taking his place. There must be a way to reverse the process. I have a feeling things may get worse before they get better. Now we know what that key was for. Ah. <laughs> I'm glad you children are here, actually. An audience is fitting for this grand event. Why go through so much trouble for that piece of junk? There's more to it than meets the eye. You see, I've always been cursed with an excessive sensitivity to sunlight. I found a solution, but I was unable to implement it until now. Thanks to my dear grand-grandniece, I can finally vanquish my enemy, the sun! <laughs> it's broken! The planets are turning backwards! On the contrary, it's working as designed. <gasps> From now on, the world will remain in permanent dusk! And I can live! Not if I can help it! <laughs> it's too late what? for you, Mona. Without that picture of me, I don't exist in the past. And you have to take my place. Resistance is useless. I'll slip through your fingers like the sands of time. The Transcript Fire! 
A what? Hurry! She's almost gone! I hope this still works. Say creep. Listen to this. Although the solar eclipse took everyone by surprise, it certainly made the Historical Society celebrations unique. They have no idea how unique. We barely escaped permanent twilight. What about Uncle Morris? My parents assume he left rather than face the humiliation of public speaking without his wig. They'd like to replace it, but he didn't leave a phone number. Of course, I know where to find him. That's not even a regulation-sized basketball. Sure it is. Or my name's not unscrupulous, Al. A good shot. This is your 23rd try. You sure you got the money to pay for this? Sure. My dad does. He's got lots of money. <sighs> Twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. I wonder what that kid was doing in there. Come on, everyone. Let's go on a real scary ride. You like scary rides, don't you? Whoa, look how high up we are. This is scary. I can't look down. Ferris wheels are slow. And boring. Can we go on the Brain Masher next? Or the Spine Discombobulator? Or the Dimension Buster? Can we get some slushies? And some caramel corn? And some cotton candy. Hello, Hello Officer Halcroft. Hiya, kids. Hey, look at that. Whoa, he's creepy. This is only a life-size replica. The real live Funhouse Franklin is in there. The Fourth Dementia Funhouse. Do not go near the Fourth Dementia Funhouse or the Dimension Buster Ride. They're not for kids. Yeah, right. How do you know? My boss, Unscrupulous Al, owns them. That's how I know. If Funhouse Franklin gets you into the Fourth Dementia, you will never get out. Oh, yeah. We're not afraid. Yes, we're afraid. Did you see how creepy that Funhouse Franklin looks? I've heard that the Fourth Dementia Funhouse has made some kids permanently demented. Let's eat. <coughs> the Dimension Buster ride is more fun than riding the Brain Crusher. I'm gonna be sick. Wish this could go faster.
Lily's right. Fang didn't make it back. He's stuck in the fourth dementia. Come on, we have to get him back. Sorry, this ride's closed for lunch. Come back in an hour. But we don't have an hour. We need to get on that ride now. Hmm. Listen, Mr. Al. I, uh, is the Unscrupulous your real name? Actually, it's my middle name. My real name is Dishonest. Right. So anyway, Mr. Al, you see, I lost my cap when we split the space-time continuum and made a leap into the fourth dementia. And we really have to get him back. Oh, your little kitty's lost in the fourth dementia. Why didn't you say so? Of course you can get on and look for him. Gee, thanks, Mr. Al. In an hour. But if you're that eager to visit the Fourth Dementia, why not check out the Fourth Dementia Funhouse in the meantime? So you're saying there's some sort of temporal bridge connecting the Dimension Buster and the Fourth Dementia Funhouse? Sort of an interstellar gateway? Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Come on, Lily. If Fang's trapped in the Fourth Dementia Funhouse, then we have to go in. But we might get permanently demented. Fang would do it for us if we were trapped. Only five minutes before the Fourth Dementia Funhouse closes. We have to hurry. Let's go. <laughs> Which way do we take? All passages lead to confusion and terror. <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's go that way. Fang, where are you? Fang! Fang! One, 
Funhouse Franklin, he is a infant. Uh, you guys are free. You've defeated Funhouse Franklin and escaped the fourth dementia. You're Funhouse Franklin? Yeah, but I think I'm gonna quit. This part of the job is fun. I've done it for three summers. But I don't like helping unscrupulous Al cheat on the ball throw game. He cheats on the ball throw game? We cheat. My job is to put the stick through a small hole and poke out the balls that land in the basket. That's terrible! I feel really bad about it. That's why I'm quitting. I wish I could somehow pay you back for the money you lost. It was my dad's money, but you could do me a favor. Sure, anything. How'd you do that? Hey, what's going on here? Hello? Hello? Just hand over that giant stuffed small creepsula, mister. An unscrupulous Al? I quit. I'm sick of this job. You can't quit. You're fired. Good luck finding someone else to run the fun house. Come on, kid. How about I give you a big raise? Okay, sure. But no more cheating on the ball throw game. Yeah, sure. There you kids are. We've been looking everywhere. 